Um, but as it is right now, like I said, this kind of reeks a lot of the... I say reeks, sorry, that sounds a little bit negative. Um, it, it looks... It definitely has that twinge of this is somebody that designs and gets their critique from Reddit. Or right, well, no problem here. I, I, like, I like so much of what this is throwing out. I think if this was something that somebody had submitted to me for like a big product, like the, a big collaboration or something, I'd be extremely excited to see the potential of it. Uh, but my challenge would be, like I said, find a way to make this an unlimited use resource. Like don't, the, the spicy thing would be to allow them to use the attack action on their turn to rather issue an order instead of you have to manage this other resource on top of it all. Um, I think that could have been extremely interesting. Okay, okay, this is one thing that I hate about what Reddit will do to some designers. Laser Llama clearly has a grasp of the system, but they're they're designing things to be sanitized for Reddit from the way that I, I've seen it. Um, there's a lot of things that are in here that I've seen that look like they're making safe decisions rather than... I, I don't want to say the correct one, because that makes it sound like I'm like some all-knowing sage or something like that. I'm not. Then the narratively pleasing ones... You know what I mean? It's like, rather than say what sounds cool and designed for that, it's more like, okay, this is the way that we can do this thing. How can I make it work to where I can point to a comparison and say this isn't busted because this other thing can do that, right? It's very safe because they're trying to avoid the crit uh, criticism of some of the people over on Reddit, right? And that is a big issue. Um, in the music world, we call this like Berkeley Funk. You can usually tell whenever someone graduated from the Berklee College of Music because they have a particular sound that is definitely is definitely coding the um, the East Coast like music scene right now. Yeah, the Berkeley Funk sound. <laughs> Getting rid of Berkeley Funk. Um, yeah, it's even being asked over on Reddit. Um, People that are graduating from Berkeley seem to come out all with the same exact kind of a sound, the same exact playing style. There is a kind of funk that comes with, like, I think, thinking that you're designing stuff for people that you know are going to be really critical on you. And it's part of the reasons why I tell people, try to get out of the Reddit sphere. Yet you'll also see spells on Reddit until do you want... Yeah, no, the, things that, the things that cause people to succeed on Reddit are going to be, like, either... You're designing something that's overpowered for memes, or like, it's super, super sanitized, you know? Um, there's plenty of stuff that I know if I would have printed it, or I would have posted it over on Reddit, rather than like, I don't know, talked about it with other like pro designers, it wouldn't have gotten to the level of like, what I feel is interesting polish that it did finally get to, you know what I mean? Really, I think that the experimental designers out there are better because they broke out of the Reddit sphere. Most of Reddit design is just incoherent, not too good, not too strong, and the last thing's, like, yeah, just lacking system mastery. Um, it's clearly being made to adjudicate some weird hang up with the system rather than solve a problem. And I feel like what happens over on Reddit, if you're designing and you've learned to design over on Reddit, what winds up happening is you're, you're, you become a little bit scared to step out and innovate on the system um, because they inherently teach you that no matter how good you know the system, you can't design anything that can bend the rules of something that hasn't already bent those rules, right? Because nine times out of ten, the thing that Reddit does, or at least I know the Unearthed Arcana or the D&D Next subreddits do, whenever they're critiquing, like, a different kind of mechanic or whatever, is they always point to one other situation in the, the game, or one other mechanic in the game, that does something kind of similar or it does do something similar, but it's just not as good as the thing that you were doing or whatever. Um, comparative balance is helpful, but there also comes a point where we're like, 5e is not the standard. The official books can't really be the standard for which we are. We can't use that as the only pot that we can grab from to get our mechanics. You know what I mean? Like if we're just writing something that says, this is a ranged spell attack that deals a d10 of force damage and you can do this an additional time when you reach 5th, 11th, and 17th levels. And I mean, that's just Eldritch Blast, right? Um, but like, if that's going to be the only thing that we decide, bam, that's the upper level of power and 
we want everything. If you're not doing that, then it's not acceptable homebrew. Like, you know what I mean? It It's... Compar yes, uh, comparative balance is helpful when it's done to... Uh, when it isn't done to an exhaustive length and refuses to ever evolve or innovate. Exactly. Yeah, the quintessential Reddit problem. Do we need another class that has the same exact 5th level feature? I don't think that Reddit is really good at giving critique. I don't think that Reddit knows what they're talking about all the time. I mean, in fact, we know that they don't know what they're talking about. Uh, you also get a lot of people that are over there that are trying to start arguments and prove that they're like... I don't know, they're smarter than you because they know D&D &D more than you, or something like that. They're not always really giving helpful critique, and that is, uh, that's why I continue to tell people that are getting into homebrew design, don't deal with Reddit, don't deal with Reddit, don't grow up on Reddit, because it's going to ultimately hamper um, your skill as a designer if what you're trying to do is designed to please that hive mind over there. Your guess is that most people are afraid of breaking the game. I've been a cat. Uh, it, well, the interesting thing is if you know how to break the game but not cause issues of play. Like, and I, I'm not just trying to blow smoke up my own ass, but I'm just trying to give an example as to, like, um, maybe something that's pretty relevant here. Yeah, I just, I can't, I can't be bothered to waste my, and it's another reason why uh, some people have asked me, you know, hey, would you review some stuff that's over on Reddit? And I'm going to say no. Um, because the people that are coming from Reddit usually fall into a few categories, okay? They want to hear, one, that this thing that they saw on Reddit that already got about a bunch of upvotes that you think is cool, and then they're going to give you views, whatever. Um, they don't really want to hear a meaningful, thoughtful critique that they could possibly learn from. If you call something out as, like, being overtuned, is that even really fun to make a video over? Like, not really. Um, I can review a bunch of Reddit homebrew, and then if at the end of it I just say, but this, th this thing is busted because of XYZ thing, that's not a fun video to make. I've tried to make those videos in the past, they're not fun. They never get the engagement that I would, you know, hope, and, uh, it's just not fun to... It's not fun to tell somebody the thing that they made is probably not acceptable for play. You know, I don't really want to harvest the Unearthed Arcana subreddits, um, commenters? I've seen a lot of what that subreddit pushes out into the architecture and I am just, I don't really care to have that as a part of my community in a way. People just straight up shitting on other people because they dared to make something that was creative or like they're daring to try and learn to do a new thing. Uh-uh, I'm not about that life. Um, the second that anyone does that in my Discord server, I immediately throw the van hammer down. People need to learn how to give productive critique. Uh, part of getting critique isn't just that you're telling someone that their thing sucks. Uh, if you can't tell someone a reason why a thing might be a problem and then provide a solution, you're not actually doing critique, you're just being an asshole. Like, whatever you guys saw me critiquing Laser Llamas thing, you, you hear me saying that I worry about this, and here is my challenge. You know, I think that you could possibly do this to where the orders open up, or whenever I say that, like, ah, I have a narrative hang-up with this food here and it spoils earlier, later, whatever. Learning how to give constructive critique is a skill and it's one that not a lot of Redditors have, but that's why it's worth it to actually talk with somebody that knows like the design sphere, like someone like, you know, I, I, I say me, but like, you know, I even go to Ross Leiser, Trek Rose, Heavy Arms, Benjamin Huffman, uh, Kibbles, Kibbles is a rare exception to the rule. Uh, Kibbles Tasty, is has somehow figured out Kibble Stacy has somehow figured out how to still introduce some pretty interesting ideas without like kind of bending down to the Reddit hive mind in a way. Um, Kibble stuff doesn't really stink of the like over sanitization that you see a lot of Reddit design stuff get. Uh, Kibble still comes out with some pretty interesting stuff. Uh, but what I mean is like, okay, I've seen. I've seen this in play. I've gotten a ton of feedback on this. I've I've heard zero issues of anything that this base class features does. This base class feature does, okay? And that's step up. Um, this is this is an extremely strong feature. The only things that I've heard from playtests that cause issues with this were down in the flares. Um, this step up feature right here is scary good. As an action, 
You can perform an invigorating dance that enlivens your audience. When you do, choose one creature that can see you within 30 feet of you. After you use this action, the chosen creature can immediately move up to its action and take one action. Okay, or move up to its speed, wow, and take one action. A creature that has already ta been targeted by this feature can't be the target of it again until you finish a long rest. When you reach 9th level in this class, you can target a, a creature that has already been targeted when you finish a short or long rest, okay? I could have brought this down to where it was just a short rest here at 2nd level, but I was pretty hesitant about what this could dish out, because these dance flares are already super, super good. If I would have just made it to where you are the battery for your team getting all these extra actions, I think this would have been so damn bland. So I had to make it to where you couldn't use this a ton, a ton, but you are essentially action surge the class, right? I am everybody else's additional actions. If I would have posted this up on Reddit, I can't even imagine how this would have gotten treated, okay? I've gotten all kinds of playtest feedback on this. Um, I've seen this in live streams getting played. I, I've had people DMs message me back just saying like this is exactly what they wish the thing would do. The dancer has gotten rave reviews, but I know for a fact, I know for a fact if I would have published this over on Reddit, I would have been fucking flayed in the streets because that's just the way that they react to content. It's just the way that they react to content that does anything that isn't already existing in the game. Reddit doesn't want innovative mechanics. They want something that has just a brand new coat of paint. That's it. That's it. If you make the Paladin and just make it a, an arcane spellcaster instead and have it use intelligence, you know, then like they're going to be like, yeah, 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 this, this is awesome. Oh, it's like, I can't do this. Whatever. Whatever.